Hey guys, welcome back to another NFL predictions video. Now I apologize, I've done so, so many of these. I've done like four in a row. This will be the fifth. But after this, guys, I'm going to post another gaming video, and then hopefully tomorrow I can start predicting the AFC West. Which that consists of the teams like the Raiders, the Chiefs, the Chargers, and the Broncos. Now, by the way, guys, if you think I'm just saying this because I like some of these teams, I really don't like as many teams as you guys think. These are my unbiased opinions on how these teams will do during the regular season. Now, of course, you guys might think, why am I starting on the Buccaneers? Because I'm, of course, so I'm trying to start out with either the best teams or the worst teams. And of course, so that would, in this case, this would either be the Panthers or the Buccaneers. I start with the Buccaneers because I'm going to do the whole AFC, not, no, not AFC. I've already done the AFC South. I'm going to do the whole NFC South in just one video because I meant to do, have done that before, but I never did. So I'm just going to do all of them in one episode, just get all the predictions done. And after that, I'm really going to have to go to the restroom. That's really odd I said that, but okay. So Tampa Bay at Atlanta. I'm not completely sure who will win that game. Uh, I'm going I'm going to go off of last year and say that the Falcons are not going to do as good as they did last year cuz they started out like 6 and 0 and then just lost to the Buccaneers straight away. Like, I can tell the Buccaneers are improving, though, because they beat a lot of teams they probably couldn't beat a couple of years ago. So they're just like the Raiders. They're just like the Raiders. And they're, they're coming back from horrible years in the past. The Raiders haven't, haven't, haven't done good in the division since 2011. It's, they haven't had a decent record since 2011. They have not been good for five years, and they actually have a chance to make it to the playoffs this year. And I hope that happens, but it might not. So Tampa Bay at Atlanta, I think I'm giving Tampa Bay a win because I think of their improvement. However, they have a very tough game afterwards in Arizona. I predict, I predict that the, uh, the whatever. I'll, I'll cover the Patriots and the other teams later. The, the Patriots and those teams in that division will probably be the last ones I predict. The east side will be the last. I'm going to do the west after this because I've been getting a lot of requests to do the Broncos. And I'm going to be doing the Broncos. And probably going to be doing the Broncos and the Chiefs together and the Chargers and the Raiders. I'm going to do the Raiders and the Chargers first and then the Broncos and the Chiefs which the Broncos will probably come last in that video, because they would be the best team in that division. I should stop talking. I have to get this, get this done quickly, because you guys know I'm going to be doing this a lot more than... This is going to be double the amount I would normally do in one of these videos. So, Tampa Bay at Arizona. Arizona wins. L.A. at Tampa Bay. I'm going to give L.A. a win, because you know they're a new team, and... Tampa Bay's already got a losing record. One and three, they're going to lose to Denver because Denver, Den, the, there's just no way. Even though Denver has a good quarterback and, like, two horrible quarterbacks, like, that seeming guy's okay. But Sanchez sucks dick. But I think, I think the best quarterback they have is Paxton Lynch, and I think they just barely have enough. I don't think... I think it'll be a somewhat blowout because they're going to keep some of the players they had last year. So I'm going to give, like, I think Denver will win this game by two, three touchdowns. Even though Tampa Bay's improved, I'm going to have to give them the one and three record right here because Denver is really good. Really good. They're going to keep some of that goodness from last year. But it's not, they're not going to be that good this year, I don't think. Tampa Bay at Carolina. So that's going to be another loss. So they are 1 and 4. Now this is really questionable right here. Tampa Bay at San Francisco. The last time San Francisco played Tampa Bay, I believe they won in Tampa Bay 33 to 14. San Francisco is somewhat doing good. I'm I'm going to go with my old prediction and this was before even the preseason start. 
Even though San Francisco has only beat the Super Bowl champions in an upset win in the preseason, I'm still going to give San Francisco the win over Tampa Bay like I normally would. So that's one in five. Wait, did, did they have a bye week at any point? Yeah, they do. Oakland at Tampa Bay. Now, I'm going to give Tampa Bay the upset win just because I think of Super Bowl two. I think of Super Bowl 36 every time I think of the Raiders and the Buccaneers. So I believe that Super Bowl would be 15 years ago on the day of whatever, probably in Jan sometime in January of 2017 would be the 15-year celebration of when Tampa Bay beat Oakland. So I'm just going to go on, on that rematch. The Raiders don't get their revenge. It's 2-5 and five for Tampa Bay. Now, this is where I think Tampa Bay makes a really big comeback from how far down they were. That I think they'll start out one they'll be somewhat like the Chiefs. They'll be one in five and then just win like some amount of games straight. So I think they're gonna beat Atlanta at home. I think that's gonna be that might be a split series, I don't know. I'm giving Tampa Bay a victory at home against the Bears, so they're not completely out of the playoffs. Now, I do think they're going to lose these next two games, which might get rid of their playoff hopes. So, there you go. Let me think. Four and six. They are currently four and eight, and they have a tough game at the Chargers. So, they might be able to do it if the Chargers have a bad year. I'm going based off of what I said this summer. They were horrible last year, but I think they're going to come back. But watching them in the preseason really doesn't make me think any better. But I'm just going to say that San Diego will win that game 4-9. And I think Buccaneers have lost playoff hope. However, I will give them a win at home against New Orleans. And I will give them a win against Dallas. So there's a 6-9 and nine record. But however, 6-9 and nine way. I got that wrong. Okay, so I don't think... They're going to beat New Orleans or Carolina. I, oh, I lost track. But I think here I'm going to give them a 6-10 and 10 record because I think they deserve it. And maybe even if possible, they might even be able to beat Carolina at home in an upset win. I, don't, I wouldn't consider that much of an upset, but I guess sort of. So they might be 7-9 and nine this year. So, so, yeah, I lined these all up so it would be much easier for this video. Saints Insider. Okay, so preseason, yeah, we don't give a shit about that. What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing today? Oh, I didn't load up properly yet. Alright. So, Oakland at New Orleans. New, or New Orleans, or whatever you call it. New Orleans, New Orleans. Some people call it different names. So, Oakland at New Orleans. If it's just going to be like that Steelers game last night, Oakland probably wins. But I think I'm going to give New Orleans a victory because I, ju I just think the f them, them in the preseason are not as good as regular season. So I'm giving New Orleans, New Orleans, Jesus. And by the way, this whole division here I'm going to do has to play the Raiders and every other team in the AFC West. So... You're going to be seeing already at least one game from each team. You're going to be seeing four of their games already. So, so yeah, that's 1-0. New Orleans at the Giants. The Giants are absolutely going to suck. So I'm giving New Orleans a win. I might give New York a win. I don't know. Atlanta, New Orleans, I think that's a win as well. 3-0. First loss against San Diego, 3-1. They beat Carolina to get that 4-1 record. Now they lose to Kansas City because I think Kansas City will be really good. So I'm going to give them a loss, 4-2. Seattle at New Orleans, they always lose against Seattle. I'm giving New Orleans a loss. So there you go, 4-3, and three, ruining your season now. At San Francisco, the last time San Francisco played them, I believe they won. But I, since San Francisco is so fucking terrible, I'm going to give New Orleans a victory. What is that, 4-3? and three. 
five and three. I'm going to give Denver a win because, you know, New Orleans hasn't been doing that well. I don't know, really, actually. I think New Orleans is actually going to do really good. So I'm giving them a win, actually. Never mind. Okay. I changed my mind. Six and three. Six and four. However, I think they're going to lose to L.A. six and five. They're gonna beat Detroit seven and seven and five. I think Tampa Bay beats them seven and six. Seven and seven they lose at Arizona. You know, wait, wait, wait. Let's see, so let's count it. One no, two and oh, three and oh. Three and one, four and one, four and two, four and three, five and three, six and three, six and four, six and five, seven and five, seven and six, seven and seven. Oh, wait, 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 I don't know. I'm giving them seven and six. Okay, I think they're going to upset Arizona and Arizona. I don't know. For now, I'm giving New Orleans either 9-7 and seven or 10-6. and six. Tell me what you guys think they deserve. The Falcons, I believe, were number two in the division last year. So they're going to come next. Now it's the preseason. Tampa Bay, I already said, this is a loss. They're going to Oakland. I think that's a loss as well. 0-2, that's going to be a loss too. 0-3. That's going to be a win, first win against Carolina, 1-3. and three. At Denver, however, even though I don't think Denver will beat New Orleans, I think they will beat Atlanta. That will be 1-4, 1-5, 1-6, 1-7, 1-8, 1-9, 1-10, 1-11, 1-12, 1-13, 1-14, 1-15, 1-16, 1-17, 1-18, 1-19, 1-20, 1-21, 1-22, 1-23, 
One and two. One and three. One and three. Two and three. Two and four. Three and four. Three and five. Three and six. Four and six. Four and seven. I'm giving Oakland a win. I don't know if Carolina will win, but I'm assuming they don't. Four and eight. Five and eight. Six and eight. Seven and eight. Eight and eight. So Carolina will either be nine and seven or eight and eight, I think. That'll do it for this NFL prediction. Tell me if I th if you think otherwise of these records. Let me know. I really want your opinions on how you think who you think will win and how you think they'll win and what records they'll have and everything like that, all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.